Imagine that you've established a website hosted on your home network, and you've set up a DNS record directing to your router's public IP address. However, the challenge arises when your internet service provider, ISP, assigns a dynamic IP address to your router, subject to change at any moment. Consequently, if your IP address changes, the DNS record still points to the outdated IP address, rendering your website inaccessible. To address this issue, the solution lies in implementing a dynamic DNS, DDNS, service on your router. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of configuring DDNS specifically on a TP-Link router. Begin by logging into your router's administrative panel. Once logged in, navigate to the Dynamic DNS section. Various Dynamic DNS providers are available, some free and others paid. The TP-Link router supports three DDNS service providers, DiDNS, NoIP, and Comex. For this demonstration, we will opt for NoIP, a free service. To get started, you need to create a NoIP account. Click on the provided link to access the NoIP website. Upon reaching the website, click on the Sign Up option. Input your email address, create a password, and choose a host name. You can select a free domain from the available options, such as ddns.net. Complete the sign-up process by clicking Free Sign Up, and NoIP will send a confirmation email to your provided address. Navigate to your email inbox, click on the activation link to activate your NoIP account. Upon successful activation, log into your NoIP account using the assigned username and password. NoIP provides one free hostname, which you can use for configuring DDNS on your router. Copy the hostname and enter it into the domain name field on your router settings. Additionally, input your NoIP username and password, enable the DDNS option by ticking the corresponding box, and click the login button. If the configuration is correct, a success message will be displayed, indicating that your DDNS is now set up and ready to automatically update your DNS records in case of a change in your router's public IP address. 